friends in this video we are discussing laplace transform of derivative laplace transform of derivative statement is let f of t let f dash of t be continuous and l of f of t is equal to f of s then l of f dash of t is equal to s into f of s minus f of 0 provided uh, limit n tends to infinite e power minus s t into f of s is, is equal to 0. This is existence formula. Right. You see if l of f of t is equal to f of s. Na, so what is l of f dash of t we have to prove s into f of s minus f of 0. From this in place of f of s what I can say l of f of t or not. So you see to remember this formula I am uh, reading like this L of bracket dash is equal to L of bracket dash means F of T whole dash is equal to S into L of bracket S into L of bracket minus bracket of 0 L of bracket dash is equal to S into L of bracket minus bracket of 0 now we have to prove this one okay by definition how to prove this one you see here by definition we have L of F of T means L of bracket is, is equal to integral 0 to infinite e power minus st into bracket dt. Okay, you see L of bracket is equal to integral 0 to infinite e power minus st into bracket dt. Also, this is we are denoting with the F of S. Okay, now what you want? L of F dash of T. So, L of bracket, t, bracket is now L of f dash of t. So by definition what I can write? Integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus st into bracket dt. Okay. Now you see one is a uh, here integration we are doing for e power minus st into f dash of t with respect to t we are doing. So the integrand once you observe this is this is called integrand. What function we are doing integration that function is called integrand. So this integrand they of two functions integration of two functions uh, we we use uh, like integral uv formula okay integral uv formula which one generally we are taking a uh, u means uh, first term means the derivative of function should be decreasing that term we are taking as a u suppose if you take any uh, algebraic function as a u what will happen means this is u into v1 u into v1 minus u dash into u dash means here this derivative you are getting what double derivative is there any useful like that if you are taken as a f dash of t is a first term no so you have to take a e power minus st as a u and this as v now integral u v u into v1 v1 means Integral of f of t is f dash of t is f of t. Limits from 0 to infinite. Minus. Okay. Integral of u v1 minus integral of u dash. e to the power of minus st. Integration is e to the power of minus st into. With respect to what we are doing. With respect to t we are doing. Na? So you will have minuses into f of t integration f dash of t integration is f of t okay into dt upper limit minus lower limit we will substitute so e to the power of minus infinite into like f of t in place of t only no? this is nothing but like f of infinite minus if you substitute 0 you will have e power minus 0 into f of 0 close the bracket minus here you see we are integrating with respect to t integrand we are integrating with respect to t but here you have a minus s is there so you can take outside then you will have plus s integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus st into f of t dt so this is is equal to what about this value e power minus infinity is nothing but 0 minus e power 0 is nothing but 1 into f of 0 so, 
f of minus f of 0 plus s into see here limit uh, integral from 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt is nothing but uh, l of f of t only na l of f of t is it or not definition of laplace transformation only na right this is equal to what i can write means first i am writing l into l of f of t minus f of 0 also you can write as s into f of s minus f of 0 so this is called laplace transformation of first derivative laplace transformation of first derivative is l of f, f dash of t is equal to s into l of f of t minus f of 0 or s into f of s minus f of 0 we can uh, extend this theorem means generalization also we can do for this theorem generally this laplace transformation of derivative where we will use means to solve the differential equations when the boundary conditions are given when the boundary conditions are given that time initial conditions are also boundary conditions are given that time we will use this uh, laplace transformation of derivatives especially that is very important for the long answer question also now we will do the generalization of laplace transformation we have l of f dash of t is equal to s into l of f of t minus f of f of 0 so now l of f double dash of t l of f double dash of t i can write as l of f dash of t whole dash nothing but here l of bracket dash l of bracket dash okay this is also substitute in equation number one now what i can write means s into l of bracket so s into l of bracket f dash of t minus bracket of zero bracket of zero okay now you see this is again by using equation one what you can write s into l of f dash of t what you have s into l of f of t minus f of 0 this is f dash of 0 bracket of 0 means f dash of 0 now minus f dash of 0 so this is s into s s square into l of f of t minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0 this is what value l of f double dash of t value Next, L of F triple dash of T we are discussing. L of F triple dash of T is nothing but uh, I can write as L of double F double dash of T whole dash Laplace transformation. Nothing but this is like a L of bracket dash only. Okay, what is first L of bracket dash here you have S into L of bracket L of bracket that is L of F dash of T minus bracket of 0 so from equation number 2 see s into what is l of f double dash t you have s square into l of f of t s square into l of f of t minus s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0 minus f double dash of 0 now multiply inside s into s square is nothing but s cube into l of f of t minus s square into f of 0 minus s into f dash of 0 minus f double dash of 0 the value of l of f double dash of t similarly we can generalize this theorem for triple dash what you are getting you see l of f triple dash of t is nothing but uh, here you will get a uh, this is L of F triple dash of T. L of F four double dash of T is nothing but S power four L of F of T minus S cube into F of zero minus S square into F dash of zero minus S into F double dash of zero minus F triple dash of zero. Here you see suppose double dash is there then start with s square next next s the, here first 
double dash is there s square you have single uh, next to s next to s power 0 starting l of f of t letter f of 0 next f dash of 0 if you have next f double dash of 0 next f triple dash of 0 for example you see l of f fourth derivative of t whenever fourth derivative is there s power 4 is occurs starting l of f of t only okay next term f of 0 next f dash of 0 next f double dash of 0 next f triple dash if you have another uh, derivative is f 4 will dash of 0 you will have like that so s power 4 s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 like that uh, based on the l of uh, f double dash of 0 f triple dash of 0 f 4 will dash of 0 okay now if you are taken for a nth derivative, you are getting similarly L of F nth derivative, nth derivative of t is equal to nth derivative whenever is there, what I have to take? S to the power of n L of F of t minus S power n minus 1 F of 0 minus S power n minus 2 F dash of 0 minus s power n minus 3 f double dash of 0 so on okay and so on minus f n minus 1 of 0 this is generalization of laplace transform of derivative okay where we will use these type of the problems means to solve the derivatives problems Okay, to solve the differential equation problems whenever the boundary conditions or initial conditions are given. Okay, na? One problem on this uh, method. If L of t into sin omega t, L of t into sin omega t value is 2ws by s square plus omega square. Here omega. Okay, L of t into sin omega t is equal to 2 omega s by s square plus omega square whole square then find l of omega t cos omega t plus sin omega t okay you see l of f of t is equal to f of s then find l of this what is this value means first you see given problem consider as f of t let f of t is is equal to t into sin omega t now do the f dash of t what is f dash of t uv formula we will apply what is uv formula t into sin omega t is nothing but cos omega t into omega plus sin omega t into t derivative is what 1 so what is f dash of t we have omega t cos omega t plus sin omega t so we have to find what value f dash of t value we have to find laplace transformation of f dash of t we have to find we know the formula l of f, f dash of t is is equal to s into l of f of t minus f of 0 this one only na? now what you want f of 0 you want and l of f of t also you want already they gave l of f of t now you want f of 0 what is f of 0 at t is equal to 0 you will get f of 0 so at t is equal to 0 f of t is f of 0 is equal to 0 into sin omega 0 this is what value 0 only therefore f of 0 is equal to what? 0. Substitute in the above equation. Substitute in the above equation. That is L of f dash of t. L of f dash of t is nothing but what? L of omega t cos omega t plus sin omega t is, is equal to s into s into what is L of f of t we have? 2 omega s by s square plus omega square whole square close the bracket minus f of 0 what is f of 0 we have 0 
So now you multiply inside, then this is L of F dash of T is equal to 2 times of omega S square by S square plus omega square whole square. So this is what value? L of omega T cos omega T sin omega T value. Like this, we will find if F of T given L of F dash of T value, we can find out by using this. Sometimes uh, they may they will ask uh, not only F of T. Uh, if they are given F of T, not only F dash of T. They will ask uh, L of F double dash of T also. Means in that case, what we have to do? We have to do the differentiation of this F of T, F dash of T. Then you will get F double dash of T. We have Laplace transformation of L of F double dash of T is like a generalization. We know that uh, S square into L of F of T minus this is the formula we have using. What is the formula? L of F double dash of T is S square into L of F of T minus S into F of 0 minus F dash of 0. See what we need to find in this case means L of F of T they are given. Right? F of 0 find out. Means in place of uh, T we put 0 then you will get a F of 0. Now in place of F dash of 0 we want F dash of 0 is nothing but this is F dash of T na? put t is equal to 0 then you will get f double dash of 0 now uh, excuse me f, f dash of 0 substitute to f of 0 and f dash of 0 in this and multiply with s square then you will have l of f dash of t if you want l of f triple dash of 3 also you can find out like this only so this is the procedure of laplace transformation of derivatives okay but many of the problems they will ask in a application of the derivatives by using Laplace transformation for long answer question that is very very important. We will discuss in a next videos uh, Laplace transformation of derivative problems. Thank you for watching this video.